if you could hear me or not. I don't know if you can even hear me on this, uh, <laughs> with this microphone, with this sound, but, um, so, I know I talked about this in a, um, I believe a previous rant, and so what I really wanted to talk about is, I wanted to talk about camouflage, right? So, I wanted to talk about camouflage because I've seen a lot of these cryptid videos, right? And I'm not going to lie, uh, a lot of cryptid videos I feel like are, are hoaxes. I feel like a lot of cryptid videos are a bunch of, um, a bunch of baloney. I feel like a lot of cryptid videos are stilted hoaxes and, and scams and stuff, but some of them are pretty legit, and I mean, a couple of, a couple of recent ones I've seen lately, I'll be honest, they, they kind of blew my mind, because like, you know how when you, you know how when you recognize like, fluid movement, and you, you even yourself, like, even like a person like myself, uses certain movements that are very fluid, and very, but they're also very peculiar and odd, so, from a person looking from another person's perspective, it would look odd, right? And in particular, I'm going to speak on this this video, which I don't know if it was fake or not, but I'm telling you that it just looked really, it looked pretty authentic. Um, so it was a dog man video, and this guy said he's with his girlfriend, he's camping, he's setting up the chairs in the tents. He looks over the hill and he sees like this, um, what he says looks like a wolf but he said it was standing up on two legs and this thing looked like it was doing this like got this like gala I don't, the only way I could describe it is it's like a kangaroo hop cross between a gallop you know what I mean like a sort of hunched over gallop with a a rhythm and a hop to it similar to like a kangaroo or like you know when a dog gets excited and a dog starts to just jump like like they start to bounce and bound To, to, what's the word, to, um, what am I trying to say? Self-incriminatingly, I do that same thing a lot. And the reason why I do that is because the thing is, I'm going to, this is going to be really hard to explain, but just follow me and bear with me to try to understand, to understand that type of movement. So, sometimes when you move in that manner, it is because... This is going to sound weird, but just bear with me. Just really bear with me and get the logic behind this. The reason why you may move that way is because sometimes, number one, your your uh, your force is explosive from your, how do I say this, from the tips of your toes to the top of your heel, and most of the energy, most of the stress is put, being put in the calves, right? You're slightly bending your knees, but your feet are generally square. You're standing mostly square. Okay, like both of your feet are kind of shoulder length apart. You're kind of square. And you're just bounding. But you're bounding. The thing is you're bringing your entire body with you. Okay, you're, you're leaping. But the, the concept isn't necessarily to leap so far or to leap so high. You're just centering. You're keeping yourself very centered in... You're just kind of like prodding. You're you're just you're 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 not really. The the reason why you, why you might do this is um I'm trying to think of reasons why you might do this. You might do this because you want to keep yourself somewhat upright, but you don't want to over ex extend yourself. It could be because maybe you are cautious. You don't want to necessarily draw so much attention to yourself, but. You may, there may be um, discrepancies in the level of the ground where you may, you know, you don't, so you don't want to trip over something, so you'd rather sort of lightly hop, you almost glide over, you know, you just sort of gently bound over, right? Now, <laughs> the only reason why you don't see most people doing this that type of way, people, humans in general, is because generally, generally, you, you just don't. You know what I mean? Naturally, you see little kids doing it sometimes, but you don't. You you see you'll see like chimps, you'll see gorillas, you'll see dogs doing this. But um, 
that dog man was doing just that. And I and this is what I'm, I'm going to go into the thing about the, this. Re, this is really about about this whole. What is with these cryptids? Being so jet black, like they are literally so dark. And any of you guys out here who are maybe watching this podcast, whatever uh, rant, cryptid podcast. Have you ever been to an area to where you are in the brush, you are in the woods, you are on a trail, you are maybe even in, in the street, in an urban environment, and you notice that between the areas of like thicket, between trees, between that, you see green, you see light gray, you see sh shards of like white, shards of little brown, as you get closer, as the trees get further from you, things start to look black. As they get further from you, they look darker in color as the sun shines and is closer to your, your, um, like your whole scope of vision. The trees start to show more detail, like you can even see if it's close enough some green, because there may be green moss on it, there may be brown notes on it, there may be blots of like dark, and then there's blots of grayish, right, in trees. Trees tend to look like that. But you notice that these cryptids, these like gorilla-ish gray, white, whitish gray, black, jet black to start starting to turn gray in certain spots. You notice how perfectly, right? Do you notice how perfectly they blend into the farther backdrop and like the shadow? And if you don't really look, it could be standing right there and you just think it's another shadow. Because shadows, like for instance, I purposely wore this because if I were to stand in a, in a um, with a, sh with a crappy camera, behind something black, I would basically be invisible, except for like mostly this, right? Not invisible, but you know what I mean, I would be very hard to spot if there were many barriers and many things, and, and God forbid, if you were to turn a camera on, and I would walk around in this in enough dark, and it was a certain camera with certain lights, you would not see me. So, or the, the camera wouldn't pick me up if you were to film me, it would be like hard to see where where is Steven, if, especially if I'm purposely standing still or I'm not you know that's my whole point so this is this is an amazing thing I just really real and I've, I've kind of known this for years but every time that I watch these cryptid videos it hits it home more and more and it I actually develop more of an appreciation for these beings um so what this is is basically like what you call nat natural camouflage you know what I mean it's like a tiger it's like how a tiger stripes in a tiger's body is made a certain way to wear it so naturally blends with the other colors of the landscape because everyone's eyes and animals included are trained to see colors and patterns so it's like when you see a certain color scheme and a pattern subconsciously you're like oh yeah that's a raccoon I, I know how that looks or you're like oh yeah that's a tiger I know how that that looks or you're like oh yeah that's a ape like or that's a that's a, a bonobo chimp or that's a um what is that thing called? Uh, um, a zebra. You know, it's like, so you see that pattern, and you're like, oh, okay. But those cryptids, they, they have it a way to where they have the same thing going on, but it's just like, who's going to be expecting one of those things or be looking for something like that? You know what I mean? Like a dog man? No one's going to be expecting to look for a humanoid canine that is of a dark color that is large. Like, no one's looking for that. If anything, you think that you're seeing just, like, shadow. You know what I mean? You think, oh yeah, that's just another shadow in the midst of all the brush and trees. Maybe until it, it, it starts moving or it's close enough or whatever, or you, you hear something, and then you're like, wait a second, that just moved. So then your brain says, wait, a shadow doesn't just, like, just move. You know what I mean? Like that. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy thing, man. This stuff is crazy, man. This is crazy on a level to where I, 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 I'm not going to curse, but I crap you not. I'll say it like that. I'm telling you, some people have probably seen some of these cryptids and thought they were just looking at a shadow. The thing was far away, it was standing still, and they thought it was just another part of the backdrop, just a shadow. Oh my god, like no, it is literally something just standing right there. You know, and you're just not seeing it. Because you're either not looking for it, or you have no reason to look for it. Me, I'm different. I've always been wired different. Um, and I've always practiced different things. So 
my eyes are trained to see things differently and like I look for things you know what I mean I look for certain keys certain types of movement they say you know like and it's true people tend not to look high to a certain degree and they don't look really low they tend to just look at what's in front of them these things know that trust me they know how to move just like I know how to move like for instance if I see that there is a how do I say this a corner a barrier building whatever rock whatever it is tree and then I see a dark shadow that leads in a straight line all the way to another area of shadow and whatever you best believe that my butt is going to slink near that tree and even if I have to get down on all fours and crawl across that dark shadow I'm going to keep moving where those between those barriers a certain way to where you may see me in the transition but if you're really not looking for it you may not see me at all and I could probably get so many yards out or so many yards close and you may not you just may not notice you know what I mean so if I'm a stinking man that is nothing superhuman by any means imagine how these things are okay imagine this is what I mean about how it could be standing right there and you you don't <laughs> you don't even see it you do not notice it that it's just like right there literally so hey man this is what this thing is um, this 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 stuff is crazy man so I hope you uh, enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed the rant I hope you laughed or whatever and um, that's it man have a nice day you guys don't realize how hot it is in here man <laughs> this is this is, I'm burning up in, in all this uh, outfit man. so I'm taking this off